Thank you, Katarina. So we need strong climate action from business. We need strong climate action from finance. And that is the reason why we launched the business playbook. So I'll talk about why is it needed, how does it work, and how can we scale it to finance. Uh, but what is happening on the market? Well, what we can see in the car industry is that the valuation of Tesla just passed two of the largest car companies recently. The same thing is happening in energy, where you see renewable energy companies passing fossil-based companies in valuation. But this is just the start. It will happen in all industries. We are basically using fossil energy, fossil vehicles, fossil materials, linear business models. This will shift to renewable energy, shared electrified vehicles, fossil-free materials, and circular business models. So how can companies be part of this transformation and how can they align with the 1.5 ambition? That's what the playbook is about. So what is it? Well, it's a guide focusing on simplicity, speed and action. It's anchored in the latest science and the UN Race to Zero criteria. And it's supported by organizations now representing something like $400 billion in revenue, and it's growing. You can see some of these organizations here. So what is required for a company to align with a 1.5 ambition? Well, it's basically to refer to what you once stated. Well, at least half emissions before 2030 towards net zero, preferably much faster. But it's also to start integrating climate in your business strategy, to contribute to climate action in society, and of course to report your progress transparently. Straightforward, not trivial, but absolutely clear. And this translates into something called the four-pillar framework in the playbook. And a whole lot of companies and organizations are now starting to adopt this framework. It starts with making a commitment, being part of the race to zero. I will encourage every company, every financial institution to join the race to zero, the UN race to zero, immediately. It can be done in different ways, as a small company through the SME Climate Hub or through other initiatives the Exponential Roadmap Initiative, the 1.5 Business Ambition, and so on. And this is, as we speak, growing exponentially, as Nigel talked about. So, briefly about debunking, what is decarbonization? Uh, the first pillar, well, very straightforward. Reduce energy space uh, emissions move to renewable electricity, heating, cooling, fossil-free vehicles, business travel. We heard from Ericsson that they cut something like 70%. A lot of companies can move much, much faster than halving every decade. The second pillar is about your value chain. It's about your suppliers. It's about your usage of your products. And this requires collaboration, radical collaboration. Request and support your suppliers to halve emissions before 2030. So this becomes an unstoppable momentum. We launched an initiative called the 1.5 Supply Chain Leaders recently to bring together new type of tools and examples how this can be done practically. The other part of the equation is the downstream. So what is that? Well, it's basically your product. How much energy does it consume? Can you make it repairable? Can you prolong the life of your product? Can you make it recyclable? So that's a basic foundation, but to gain a competitive advantage, a company and a bank has to go further. You need to incorporate climate and nature in your vision about the future. What is your vision about the future? How are you contributing to that vision through your mission? Is climate and nature part of that? Uh, you need to switch to circular business models. 
and shift to enable or provide climate solutions, what we talked about, because that is where the growth is. And as we can see in the quote, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And finally, of course, influence to climate action in society to help achieve the tipping point, spread climate action, influence policies, but also, as we talked about, invest in nature-based solutions. So finally, how can we now scale the playbook to finance as well? Well, we just heard the announcement from uh, Mark Carney on the Glasgow Alliance with something like 70 trillion in assets, which will be linked to the UN Race to Zero science-based criteria. Well, the business playbook provides a guideline for frontline financial actors to align their strategy with UN Race to Zero and the 1.5 ambition, but also a tool to provide to their suppliers, customers and portfolio companies. So we look forward to scale these tools in collaboration and scale it exponentially. Thank you.